Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today guys, I've got a video just to give you a little bit of an update on me and where I'm at and what I'm doing because I haven't been posting a lot lately. And this is an update basically on my business journey as well, my personal and professional journey that I'm on at the moment. So some of you may or may not know that I'm very interested and very excited by business, by sales, by making money, by becoming wealthy. And that's kind of what I don't, I'm doing in my spare time at the moment, reading books and just looking at different wealth creation methods. So I've tried drop shipping and it was something that I did record, but the footage got lost on an old camera. So um, I had a whole like series of videos of me like going through this drop shipping journey, creating a website, finding product, blah, blah, blah. That got scrapped, unfortunately, but I'm back now with another business update. And the reason for the update is because I just went and looked at my first property for investment purposes. Today's Friday. On Tuesday, we went to a property networking event, property nexus networking event in London. Um, and made a few connections, chatted to a few guys who are already in the industry and a lot more knowledgeable. So I just went there and I just got myself involved, just introduced myself. I use my current companies as a bit of a foundation, which are electric metering and electric vehicle charging and then just got involved with hashing out details about property. Yeah, sorry guys, quick outfit change and a couple of things I forgot to mention. So you might be asking, how did I feel going to view my first property for property investment purposes? And I didn't really feel nervous, but afterwards I felt like there was a few questions that I missed that I needed to ask the estate agent. Also the estate agent, like not gonna shit on him or anything, but I didn't feel like he was really very helpful maybe he didn't really understand my position i'm not sure maybe it's, it's probably my fault because i'm new to the game it's literally my first property that i just went and viewed today on friday the 19th of january 2024 so last year before i started drop shipping i was looking into property because i was really interested by it and i feel like property is one of the best vehicles that, that can take you to where you need to be so yeah I was looking into property last year sometime, even before drop shipping, maybe last year, last year in March, maybe I was looking into property and then I got into drop shipping. I stuck at that for a bit, I ended up closing the business and then I started looking into property again. I've gone to free property education and learning events and um, those events, if you wanted to know, was the Samuel Lee's crash courses. I haven't gone on any of the advanced training yet, but maybe it's on the cars. I'm not too sure. I've got another property networking event at the end of the month. I've got another Samuel Lee's training event next weekend. And then I've got a training, um, a training course with Progressive at the end of the month as well. End of February, sorry. So yeah, I'm basically just gaining the knowledge that I need, trying to put it, trying to put my skills and everything I learned to real life situations as well and i'm going to view property i'm trying to put everything that i've learned to the test and see if it works or what works what doesn't work what needs to be tweaked but yeah i was i wasn't nervous but i didn't feel like the estate agent was giving me the best vibes like when he come to meet me he didn't even shake my hand off the bat and i was like what, what the fuck like that's not that's pretty rude firstly and it's very unprofessional i don't know he was only a young guy as well my sort of age so i don't know maybe he's new to it as well who knows but yeah, I don't really want to shit on him too much. He's the first the first ever <laughs> estate agent to show me around my first ever property. And the reason I'm saying that is because I know I'm going to stick at this. I'm going to see thousands more properties. I'm going to sell deals. I'm going to buy houses and let them out to individuals. I'm going to buy houses and let them out to short-term, short-stay guests on a service accommodation basis. I'm going to buy properties and I'm going to let them out to multiple guests on a HMO basis. So I'm going to just have all different types there because i'll see what works best and then i'll focus my energy on that avenue of property investment and whether that's brr also buy refurbish refinance or even a flip so buy refurbish and sell who knows there's there's so many different ways and so many different things you can do so i'm just gonna keep gaining knowledge keep studying and Keep actually taking action is one of the main things because you can study, 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 learn, learn, learn. But if you don't take action, it's not worth a wank, my friends. And that's putting it straight. So, yeah. But yeah, so the, the update today is basically went to view my first property. Kind of fancy myself as a deal sourcer, but at the same time, I'm interested in service accommodation. Whether it's buy to let, as in buy to service accommodation, or whether it's rent to service accommodation, I'm not sure yet. But for that reason, because I'm not sure, I'm just kind of looking at certain properties and looking at opportunities. The, the thing is, I, I've 
I've found with property is each house has a different opportunity. So the house that I went to see today, I wasn't thinking about a service accommodation model because it's not really like a tourist area. There's nothing really going on. But what it is, is it's five minutes walk from the train station, which takes you to London. So maybe that's a just a simple buy to let opportunity. I don't want to go into too much detail because it's probably going to bore you guys. Those of you who are not massively interested in property, although I imagine the people that have clicked on this video and this video title will be interested. However, I won't go into too much information. I'll just say that I do believe there's room for some small refurbishments as well, like a new kitchen and then just TLC, like maybe new wallpaper, new, it's, it needs to be furnished firstly. Um, probably new carpet, like new blinds, just like cosmetics really. But it's already, it's a bungalow, two bedroom bungalow. It's already got a loft conversion. There's quite good space in the garden and it's got an outbuilding that's used as like a workshop, I believe. And it's also got a garage that could probably do with a little bit of work that could also be converted into an annex. So I do believe there's opportunity to do a little bit of work with it. I don't know how much you'll push the value up though, and I'm not sure if it'll be worth it in the end, if it'll push it up enough, let's say. I think if you force capital appreciation, then maybe it's always worth it, I guess, depending on what you're going to do, whether you're going to refinance or sell the property. But yeah, um, that's all I really wanted to add, really, that there is, pro I do believe there is opportunity to make a few changes and make a few little investments into the property to, to, to force that capital appreciation. But for myself, I don't have the funds to be able to do that yet. So I'm probably looking at uh, packaging and selling the deal onto an investor. I met up with some great guys on Tuesday who have investor lists. Me personally, I don't have an investor list at this point in time. So I'm thinking about packaging a deal um if there is opp opportunities there which i need to still review myself but i'm thinking about packaging the deal oh, sorry about this camera work a bit wobbly i'm thinking about packaging the deal and maybe co deal sourcing with someone who already has an investor list so that's the plan i'm just going to sit down and crunch some numbers now and see what it comes out like but yeah also probably need to get a little bit more information from the estate agent as well but Basically, guys, just a short update of what I'm getting up to, where I'm at in my journey, my professional and personal improvement journey. And uh, yeah, just a quick update for yourselves to tell you that I'm still active. I've got videos lined up that just need to be edited and put put together on the channel. But at the moment, I'm pretty up to my neck with, you know, trying to escape the matrix. So got to keep at it. But yeah, just a, a quick drop in message for you guys. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. As we said, today's Friday the 19th. I'm going to check in with you guys when I feel like it. <laughs> Sorry to say. I'm going to check in next when I feel like it's necessary. And we'll see where we're at. But I'm making these promises now. I'm putting them out on the internet. And they're promises to myself more than anything else. But I'm just taking you guys on a journey with me. I'm hoping to look back at this in the future. And look back and laugh at where I, where I was and where I am now. So to my future self, congratulations. Keep at it, keep persistent, stay disciplined. Just keep doing what you're doing. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, comment, any questions or any uh, anything that you want to tell me. Over and out.